Welcome back. Thanks for joining us on Gridiron TV. And we're joined by the Birmingham Bulls this week and by Chairman Brendan Canane. Uh, Brendan, thanks for joining us this evening. You're welcome. Nice to be here. So let's just have a wee, uh, chat about the, the season so far and, and how it's going for the Bulls. Uh, you're about halfway through the season now. You've um, you're Looking at the, the results, it's, it's not been the ideal year for you so far, but can we just touch a little bit on pre-season? You know, how has it gone yeah. for you as a club going from, from January, say, in, in your preparations for the 2012 season? How has it been for you guys? Um, well, the preparations themselves were excellent. We started off with indoor training and we had excellent numbers. And then for some reason when we moved outside, and I don't know what the reasons are. We just saw a large drop off this season, which was very disappointing. Um, compared to the squad we had last year, we thought we were going to have a squad of about 55, 60 moving forward. And unfortunately, somehow along the way, we lost 35 players from last year's roster. So uh, and I think that's been reflected a lot with this year's results. Um, that said, you know, we've had a, a hard loss to East Kilbride where a lot of rookies, you know, learned some difficult lessons about football. And then two inexplicable six or draws where you know two dropped catches when you're three yards past the db you know cost you big games so it's just taking those chances that are a fine line between winning and losing a football game and even the loss against yorkshire rams last week which were, they were deserved winners 29 12 i think it was in the end they deserve to win but you know one score down uh, get a fourth down conversion holding penalty they get the ball back drive them to the field and score and it's those very, very small margins that cost you football games, and that's what we're really finding out this year. Is that we're lacking that little bit of, little bit of experience and that little sort of killer edge, that killer instinct, and that's cost us three really vital moments, really. Yeah, and there's other aspects in play as well. For for instance, the the now that we're having games on Saturdays as well, and many teams are noticing it's yeah. it's different, and and obviously they're trying to get time off from work or make their availability and unfortunately for yourselves we found out earlier today that your match with Tamworth tomorrow is that to be called off due to these difficulties how, yeah. how have you found this as a team trying to be able to incorporate these Saturday games um, I mean I think the Saturday games are an excellent idea. I think the league are absolutely right to implement this new order having at least two games on a Saturday and initially, we really, really encouraged the idea. But as we found out more, we've got several players who can't play for religious reasons because they're uh, Saturdays are their Sabbath day and they can't do anything. And we like, you have to totally respect those wishes. That's four or five players we're missing straight away. Then it's work commitments on top of that. And then you get holiday commitments on top of that. And with injuries as well this week, unfortunately, it snowballed into the situation whereby we're left with a squad of under 20 players when we've gone into other games with a squad of over 30. Uh, and it's just all snowballed into a situation where, unfortunately, we can't run a fixture and it's a very, very disappointing situation. And I'm just hoping that it is just the one game and we can show the rest of the season that we have got a good, talented young squad and we can really push on from this disappointment and not let it hold us back. Yeah, so you'll have this weekend without a game and you're then yeah. facing your next game, uh, travelling away to the, Mu the Mustangs. Uh, how is the team feeling for that? Are they, do you think they'll want to get right back onto winning tracks? Well, I mean, the reactions I've had from the players today is one's obviously obvious disappointment, but they're really, really keen to you know set the record straight. They really want to go out against that Doncaster team and show them what we're made of. They're coming on the back of an excellent result against Tamworth, and anyone who beats Tamworth is really, really under win. So we know that Doncaster aren't going to be a pushover at all. And we're going to go out there and we're going to give everything we've got. We're, we're at a point of the season now where we've literally got nothing to lose, excuse the, excuse the massive cliche. But it's time to go out there and just play with no pressure, play with no fear and go out and do and do ourselves proud. Excellent. And uh, as a chairman, we'll just touch briefly, you, you also get a chance to be involved with, with the youth setups uh, yes. with the Birmingham Bulls. How is it, how is it going um, from a youth aspect this year? Uh, the youth aspect, it's our first season and it's been absolutely fantastic. They've already played in three tournaments and are sitting on a 7-2 record and they're absolutely exceeding all of our expectations. And the two coaches there, uh, Greg Kraft and AJ Taylor, need absolutely enormous congratulations because right now they are the factory programme at the Bulls and no matter what happens, I'll be putting all my efforts in to make sure they see the season now because they've got a shot of winning a national title in their first year. I mean, obviously, that's a massive, massive claim, but they've shown such good potential. And the nice thing for a few olds will be together again next season, 
So hopefully they can go on to bigger and better things. We've got to make sure we're putting things in place to build the program for years to come. That's terrific. Well, good luck for the, the rest of the season for both the, the youth and, and the senior for the whole setup. Um, Thank you keep an eye on the scores and hopefully be able to catch up uh, after you've, you've managed to get back on winning tracks. So thanks for joining us on Gridiron TV. That's great. Thanks.